Okay, guys, this class is a suspension high-low class. So we'll have our suspension cables anchored high. We'll also have them anchored low for the next bunch of exercises. For this segment, I want you guys to connect your suspension kit to a high anchor point. I want you guys to watch me. Okay guys, we're rolling two exercises into one for this one. Now, have a look. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to roll a reverse fly into a chest hug, just like this. Now, I want to make sure I'm keeping my arms as soft straight as possible throughout the movement until I wrap that hug around, just like that. Okay, let's get you guys to have a go at this one now. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. You can also see she's not breaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the entire set. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is make sure as you start to tire, don't break your form as far as your wrist is concerned. You've got to keep your wrist nice and straight. So you can see Adriana's doing it perfectly. So squeezing right out on those reverse flies and giving yourself a nice big hug on the way in, just like that. Let's go for one last repetition. And time. Okay guys, we're going to work our chest press and we're going to work uh, some chest flies into it. I want you guys to watch me. So from here, chest press and straight into a chest fly. Okay, you can see I'm keeping my elbows out on these chest presses. Your turn. Guys, I'm going to work in with you guys on this one. So important thing with the chest press, where your elbow goes, your wrist follows. So you can see nice perpendicular line um, up against my body, okay? And then when I'm doing my chest flies, I'm going to hit a T and I'm going to work my way back just there. Now, we can make it harder or we can make it easier simply by walking forward or walking back. So if I go back, if I do it from here, it's going to be harder. Now if I want to ease off on it, I can step forward. I'm going to keep going. So you guys figure out where the right spot is for you and work through it. Last rep. time. Okay guys, we're going to work an abs rollout for this one and then we're going to extend to a triceps overhead extension. I want you guys to watch me. So abs rollout. Once I hit the rollout, I'm going to go into my triceps from here and back into my rest, which is right there. Let's go for one more rep. Your turn. Let's go guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Marilyn's rolling out, she's getting into that nice straight line. Make sure you guys are doing the same. And then when she's going into that tricep extension, her elbows are sta sta staying tucked by her ears. You wanna make sure you're doing the same thing there as well. So you don't want your elbows to let loose. You want to keep them tight, tucked by your ears. So these are looking perfect. Let's keep them going. So you can see we're finishing one move and then going into the other one. 
good. We want nice full range tricep extension on these ones. We've got two more reps. And give me one last one, Marilyn. And time. Okay, working a slider press for this one, guys. So it's a press on one side, it's a fly on the other side. And then I'm going to alternate and work the other side as well. So you can see I'm holding a nice, tight plank as far as the body is concerned. And just working on that hybrid press. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those slider presses. So the side that's pressing is right now it's on my right side. It's actually the side that does the press. The um, chest flies side is just helping me with my balance. That's really all it's doing. So I'm essentially pressing one side at a time. I want to make sure I get right out into a tee right there before I send it back. And just a shuffle of your feet, stepping forward if it's too hard for you, stepping back if it's too easy for you. Two more reps. Let's get ready to go again. We're going to repeat the last four exercises. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. You can also see she's not breaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the entire set. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is make sure as you start to tire, don't break your form as far as your wrist is concerned. You have gotta keep your wrist nice and straight. So you can see Adriana's doing it perfectly. So squeezing right out on those reverse flies and giving yourself a nice big hug on the way in, just like that. Let's go for one last repetition. And time. All right guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys on this one. So important thing with the chest press, where your elbow goes, your wrist follows. So you can see nice perpendicular line um, up against my body, okay? And then when I'm doing my chest flies, I'm gonna hit a T and I'm gonna work my way back just there. Now, we can make it harder or we can make it easier simply by walking forward or walking back. So if I go back, if I do it from here, it's gonna be harder. If I want to ease off on it, I can step forward. I'm going to keep going. So you guys figure out where the right spot is for you and work through it. Last rep. And time. Let's go guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Marilyn's rolling out, she's getting into that nice straight line. Make sure you guys are doing the same. And then when she's going into that tricep extension, her elbows are sta sta staying tucked by her ears. You wanna make sure you're doing the same thing there as well. So you don't want your elbows to let loose, you wanna keep them tight, tucked by your ears. So these are looking perfect, let's keep them going. 
So you can see we're finishing one move and then going into the other one. Good, we want nice full range tricep extension on these ones. We've got two more reps. And give me one last one, Marilyn. And time. Okay guys, let's get into those slide depressors. So the side that's pressing is right now it's on my right side. It's actually the side that does the press. The um, chest flies side is just helping me with my balance. That's really all it's doing. So I'm essentially pressing one side at a time. I want to make sure I get right out into a tee right there before I send it back. And just a shuffle of your feet, stepping forward if it's too hard for you, stepping back if it's too easy for you. Two more reps. Okay guys, a nice biceps isolation for this one. I want you guys to watch me. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna go into a biceps curl. And then as I finish up, I'm gonna go hands together and go into a biceps clutch. Now I'm gonna try and make it nice and smooth, watch. So just moving from one exercise straight into the other one. Your turn. Let's go. Okay, a couple of really important uh, notes with this particular exercise. You can see Marilyn's elbows are stationary. They're not moving. She's keeping it right in front of her as she's hitting those bicep curls. These are perfect. Um, the other thing to note is when she's hitting the biceps clutch, she's going into a perfect T, which means she's keeping her elbows nice and high. Um, another point is there's no breach in the body, so she's keeping a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder throughout the whole exercise. So you want to maintain that, keep your core engaged the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Controlled breathing, so you're exhaling as you're pulling in, you're inhaling as you're resetting. Let's go for one more rep, Marilyn. Now finish it off with your clutch, and we're done. Good job. Okay guys, this one's called a breaching triceps extension. And the reason it's called that is because of the breach. Watch me. So as I drop, I'm actually folding over. So that's when I'm breaching form, right? And I'm gonna pull right through back into a straight line, just like that, okay? So I've gotta make sure I'm shifting my weight to my heels just like that and pushing right through. Now the elbows don't leave my ribs. They've got to stay glued in there the whole time, okay? Let's get you guys to have a go at this one. Okay guys, let's get into this one. So you can see my elbows are glued to the sides, glued to my ribs, so I'm not allowing them to move. And I'm gonna just breach by dropping my bum back and pulling right through back into a straight line. So as I pull through, I'm gonna squeeze out with my chest, just like that. Kind of feels like doing dips. There are about 15 seconds left, let's keep going. Two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Okay guys, for this exercise, we're gonna work some squats from the ball of the foot. 
And then what we'll do is we're going to sit down in our isometric chair for 45 seconds. I'm going to show you guys how. So I'm going to start off with my feet parallel. I'm slightly suspended just like that. If you want to add more pressure, suspend yourself some more. And what we'll do from here is we're going to pick it right up to the ball of the foot just like that. We're going to work our squats from here. Drop down into the chair. Lift straight back up. We're going to work that for 45 seconds. And then we're going to sit down on that chair. We're going to maintain. We're going to hold it isometric for 45 seconds as well. Your turn to try the exercise. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's go. So you guys can see Adriana's dropping down into a perfect right angle, so 90 degrees right down the bottom. And she's working her way back up and she's tightening her back right up, so she's hitting that straight line. You guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Let's keep working through those. Staying on the ball of the foot, so it's the same as if you're wearing a pair of stilettos full time, so you wanna make sure your heels don't drop at all. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Nice steady pace. Let's keep it going. Let's go for four more reps and then we're gonna hold still after that. So this is one, two, three, one last one. And now we're gonna drop down into that isometric chair and we're gonna hold. Okay, you might shake up a little bit on this one, but that's okay. That's your stabilizers working and everything's nice and tense. So what you've got to watch out for uh, with this one, guys, is just make sure there's no movement, there's no bobbing up and down. You just want to try and stay as stationary as you can. Some nice controlled breathing is going to help you get through it. Let's keep working. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. Good, so you can see Adriana shaking up a little bit. That's fine, you guys will be shaking up too. Let's keep holding. We've got five seconds to go. And time. Okay guys, we're gonna work a lollipop for this one. It's harder than it sounds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a side leg raise we're going to draw a circle and then we're going to come straight back down. I'm going to show you. So side leg raise, draw a circle and straight back down. We're going to do it once with the left leg and then um, the next step with the right leg. Let's get you guys to try it. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Go. Good. So work with your own limits on this one, guys. If you've got more range and you can kick higher, brilliant, do it. And, you know, if you don't have that much range in your movement and you've got to keep it relatively low, that's okay. That's okay. You can see um, Marilyn's is not particularly high, but it's controlled and it's precise movement. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Okay, let's pick him up. Good. Drop it down. Now we're going to make sure we're going to keep that knee nice and straight throughout the whole movement. Okay, so you've got a little bit of bend in your support leg, you've got no bend in your kicking leg. Let's keep working. Good, they're getting harder and harder, aren't they, Marilyn? Let's keep them going. We've got two more reps on this side. And turn around, we're going to work the other side as well. Let's go. Good. One side's going to feel a little bit more natural than the other side, doesn't matter. Um, important thing is make sure your foot's staying nice and flat. We want to keep the foot nice and horizontal on this one. So you don't want your toes pointing up because that means your hips are out of place. Let's keep working. Now, the other thing you want to be conscious of, you can see that Marilyn is maintaining a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder on this side. So you don't want to start to swing. You want to try and maintain that. We're doing a good job with this one, Marilyn. Keep going. I know it's getting tough now. Give me three more reps. Two more. One last one and we're home. Let's go. Time. 
Let's get ready to go again. We're going to repeat the last four exercises. Let's go. Okay, a couple of really important uh, notes with this particular exercise. You can see Marilyn's elbows are stationary. They're not moving. She's keeping it right in front of her as she's hitting those bicep curls. These are perfect. Um, the other thing to note is when she's hitting the biceps clutch, she's going into a perfect T, which means she's keeping her elbows nice and high. Um, another point is there's no breach in the body, so she's keeping a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder throughout the whole exercise. So you want to maintain that, keep your core engaged the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Controlled breathing, so you're exhaling as you're pulling in, you're inhaling as you're resetting. Let's go for one more rep, Malin. Now finish it off with your clutch, and we're done. Good job. Okay guys, let's get into this one. So you can see my elbows are glued to the sides, glued to my ribs, so I'm not allowing them to move. And I'm gonna just breach by dropping my bum back and pulling right through back into a straight line. So as I pull through, I'm gonna squeeze out with my chest, just like that. Kind of feels like doing dips. There are about 15 seconds left, let's keep going. Two more reps. Last one. And you're done. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's go. So you guys can see Adriana's dropping down into a perfect right angle, so 90 degrees right down the bottom. And she's working her way back up and she's tightening her back right up, so she's hitting that straight line. You guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Let's keep working through those, staying on the ball of the foot, so it's the same as if you're wearing a pair of stilettos full time, so you wanna make sure your heels don't drop at all. Let's keep working, we've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Nice steady pace. Let's keep it going. Let's go for four more reps and then we're gonna hold still after that. So this is one, two, three, one last one. And now we're gonna drop down into that isometric chair and we're gonna hold. Okay, you might shake up a little bit on this one, but that's okay. That's your stabilizers working and everything's nice and tense. So what you've got to watch out for uh, with this one, guys, is just make sure there's no movement, there's no bobbing up and down. You just want to try and stay as stationary as you can. Some nice controlled breathing is going to help you get through it. Let's keep working. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. Good. So you can see Adriana shaking up a little bit. That's fine. You guys will be shaking up too. Let's keep holding. We've got five seconds to go. And time. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Go. Good. So work with your own limits on this one, guys. If you've got more range and you can kick higher, brilliant, do it. And you know, if you don't have that much range in your movement and you've got to keep it relatively low, that's okay. That's okay, you can see um, Marilyn's is not particularly high, but it's controlled and it's precise movement, so you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Okay, let's pick him up. Good, drop it down. Now we're going to make sure we're going to keep that knee nice and straight throughout the whole movement. Okay, so you've got a little bit of bend in your support leg, you've got no bend in your kicking leg. Let's keep working. 
Good, they're getting harder and harder, aren't they, Marilyn? Let's keep them going. We've got two more reps on this side. And turn around, we're going to work the other side as well. Let's go. Good. One side's going to feel a little bit more natural than the other side. Doesn't matter. Um, important thing is make sure your foot's staying nice and flat. We want to keep the foot nice and horizontal on this one. So you don't want your toes pointing up because that means your hips are out of place. Let's keep working. Now, the other thing you want to be conscious of, you can see that Marilyn is maintaining a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder on this side. So you don't want to start to swing. You want to try and maintain that. We're doing a good job with this one, Marilyn. Keep going. I know it's getting tough now. Give me three more reps. Two more. One last one and we're home. Let's go. Time. All right, we're going to work some squats for this one, guys, but we're going to do it a little bit different, okay? I want to go feet and knees to together. I'm going to squeeze my feet and knees so I'm making my adductors work, and as I drop down, I'm getting more work out of my glutes as well, okay? So we're going to go from here, straight down, and pick it back up. So we just want to go a little bit past the invisible chair, which is roughly there, and then want to come back up with a tight back, okay? Arms aren't doing any work. I'm not rowing with my arms. Your turn. Here's one for you guys. Now you've done slider push-ups before or slider presses. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the reverse. We're going to do a slider T-row. So the way we're going to do it, I'm going to set up like I'm about to go into a T-row. Now one arm's a T-row and the other one is a fly. Okay? And I'm going to meet in the middle and then I'm going to switch arms. Just like that. So I'm going to make sure the arm that's doing the T-row, um, it's staying nice and high. My elbow's staying out. Okay? And the arm that's doing the fly is just there for support. It's a nice, soft, straight line. Making sure I'm protecting my wrist so I'm not doing any of that. Keeping it nice and straight. And you want to finish in a straight line. So it's got to be a T. Okay? We're just going to alternate from there. Let's get you guys to try this one for yourselves.
Alright guys, we're going to work some V calves raises for this one, okay? Now, don't over suspend yourself, so I don't want to be out here. I want to be there where I'm just marginally suspended, arms are soft straight, and I've got my feet in that V position. I'm going to go up into a calves raise. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot of lift, but it's actually an excellent way of doing your calves raises. You get really good tension underneath your calves and in your soleus as well, okay? So we're going to just go from there, touch, and lift, just like that. Now, I've got to make sure I don't allow my bum to drop out as I come back down. I want to maintain that line, okay? You want to keep your glutes and your lower back active as well. Let's get you guys to try this one. Okay guys, get set. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises.
Okay, guys, for this next segment, we're going to take our bow suspension kit and we're going to anchor it low. I want you guys to watch me. Okay, guys, we're going to hit some squats for this one. We're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to do it with our feet together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze my feet, squeeze my knees so I've got my adductors engaged as well. And I'm going to drop into the chair and lift straight back up. Again, keeping the back nice and tight. So each time we hit those squats, we want to make sure we're keeping the core engaged by using the lower back and tightening right up at the top. One more repetition and your turn. Okay, let's hit those squats, Sarah. Good range of motion. Let's keep the pace nice and steady. So they don't need to be particularly fast. We just want to keep a moderate pace on this one. And we just want to make sure the way up and the way down are the same pace. Excellent. So hitting that vertical line, vertical, horizontal, vertical into that chair, lifting back up, tightening the back, using your glutes to tighten everything up. This one's a different way of doing your squats. You're actually going to feel it in your adductors a lot on the glutes as well. And it's to do with the fact that you're squeezing your knees together as you do it. Let's keep working through. We've got 10 more seconds left on this one. Making sure your arms are staying soft straight the whole time. If you're going to row with it, then your arms are doing part of the exercise. We want to make sure we're avoiding that. One more repetition. And you're done. Okay guys, we're going to hit some courtesy lunges with this one. I want you to watch me. So this is like a normal lunge except it's 45 degrees. Okay, creating a 45 degree angle and coming back up feet together. And you can see they're still quite lengthy lunges. I'm not actually shorting them. I'm just adding 45 degrees angle to emphasize the glutes. Your turn. Get into those courtesy lunges, guys. Good job. So you want to make this look exactly like a lunge. Um, all we're doing is we're just adding some angle to it so that we can come outside right to the glutes. This is a great butt lift technique. Let's keep working through. And making sure we're keeping the weight on that front leg. So the back leg is just finding the location, the front leg is doing the work for you. Good, let's keep working through. We haven't got too many left. Push through, three more reps. Two more. Now finishing with your back nice and straight, feet together, one last one, and you're done. Okay, we're working the can opener from here, guys. So this is basically hips down, holding my nice sturdy T. I'm just gonna open right up and stretch those adductors and I'm gonna bring them back together at 12 o'clock. Let's go one more repetition. And up here. Just gotta make sure your knees stay straight the whole time. Your turn. Okay, let's go Christina, let's get into it. So you guys can see Christina's very flexible, so she's actually really extending that can opener, keeping those knees nice and straight, and her toes are pointing out, which is exactly how you want it. Okay, you feeling that stretch in the adductors as you do it? Brilliant. Let's keep working. We're halfway. Hips are staying nice and low, so you can see tailbone's on the ground. Uh, there's no pressure on the back on this one, and this one's just a fantastic stretching exercise. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Let's go one more rep. And rest. Okay guys, I'm set up for a 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock from the side. So this one's an abductor and glute um, exercise. So watch me, so from here I'm going to lift right up into 12 o'clock and return it back to 3, just there. I'm going to go up again 
and return it. We're going to do this exercise with both legs. Your turn to try this exercise. So you guys can see the knees are nice and straight, beautiful straight elevation up to 12 o'clock. And you can see Christina's keeping her toes pointy. That's how you want to do it. This is going to give you maximum stretch in your hamstrings. It's also going to keep the straps intact. So you want to make sure you're pushing up against the strap the whole time, okay? So we don't want any slack down there. And you can see, again, nice perpendicular movement. Everything's nice and lateral and we're getting it right here, right in the glutes and in the abductors as well. Working right through, let's go for one more repetition. And change sides. Okay, we're working the other side now. So we've changed over, same movement. So this is a beautiful, butt lift technique, so if you're trying to get that firm, tight butt, make sure you do this exercise. Good, so the uh, challenge here is to make sure your knees don't bend, and you want to keep making sure that your toes are pointing away from you the whole time. We don't want to change angles. Keep the same angle, keep it nice and tight, toes pointing out, and working that full range from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Excellent range of movement. We've got one more repetition on this side. And time. Well done, you guys. You got through your workout for today. Let's turn our attention to our in-house instructor for three minutes of stretching. <laughs> 